Happy Wonderful Day, Wonders! Dash, what are we doing today? Mommy, I'm so excited! Why are you so excited, Dash? Oh, because you want a nap? Yeah, we're so excited because today we're taking Dash on his very first zoo adventure here in Barcelona. And we're bringing you along with us. Let's go! Okay, dude. Look, hats keep your head warm. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. No. <laughs> Somebody is not a fan of the hats, like at all. Time this well with Dash's nap. We went for a run this morning and usually he sleeps during the run, but he ran with Daniel this time and didn't really sleep. That's so, because we were flying, right, Dash? We were hauling butt, right? Whatever <laughs> the reason being, I'm really worried we're gonna get there and Dash is gonna be hung. It's gonna be very sad, but that's okay. Daniel and I love the zoo too. That's true. We've been to, we've actually recorded one, two, three videos at zoos. We've been to, we recorded the San Diego Zoo, mm -hmm. the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Zoo, Zoo, and then what was the third zoo with the baby animals everywhere? We never can Tans remember the name I know. Um, Tanzanica. 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 City. That's right. That place was amazing. Okay. Was my favorite. Yeah. So this will be our fourth zoo that we're bringing y'all along for. If you were following our vlog from a few days ago, we were rushing to get to the finish line of a half marathon that was taking place here in Barcelona. And that's when we stumbled across the zoo. And at that point we realized we had to come back and, and check it out. Um, at least two of us will be checking it out today. The third one, He's out. not so much, um, but maybe we could look into getting a pass that's longer than a day. So and we can come I'm back. already looked into oh. this so I can fill okay. you in. Yeah. So if you're coming here to Barcelona for vacation, they actually have this really cool city-wide pass okay. where you can get discounts on things like that are your typical tourist iconic things like to go to. Transportation or like the event? Like the... Both. Okay. So okay. the transportation is yeah. completely free when you buy the pass, which is unlimited, which is so cool. Okay. And then you get discounts on different things. You get to skip the wait lines. But the catch for us is that the pass only lasts five days. Oof. And okay. so doesn't really make sense for us since we want to just like slowly explore the city since we sure. get to be here for a while. But City Pass, Barcelona, very cool, sounds awesome. We're not doing that, but if you're coming for a short period of time, it sounds perfect. But what we're going to do, apparently I haven't filled Daniel in on this yet, mm -mm. is the Barcelona Zoo has a family pass for 80 euro and we can come as many times as we want to while we're here. Now is that 80 euro? Per person or is that for the family? I think it's for the family. Okay, well, let's check it out. Yeah, so if you're gonna just do a day pass, it's like I think 21 something euro. Okay. Maybe 21 dollars and or 21 euro and 60 cents, I think, okay. uh, as of right now, which is 2023. Um, but since we're, we would already be getting two and we're gonna be here a while and we wanna make sure Dad could see everything. That's true, and there is probably a. I, Right, it's a relatively big zoo too, so there'd be more. Four thousand animals. That's well, if the four thousand animals are ants, then it's not gonna be a very big zoo. But uh, <laughs> I'm They're just kidding. No, no. Um, yeah. So, but that's give us a reason to come back and mm -hmm. pace ourselves accordingly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And maybe next time Dash will be awake, or maybe Dash will wake up today. We'll see. Yeah, we'll wake up at some point. <laughs> yeah.
For one year. We're in. We made it to the zoo. We're in. We just got in. We paid the daily pass rate, which was 21.40 euro. Um, apparently, there's another spot to change these in for the annual pass, and that's what we're gonna. At least that's what we think. Because... That's what we think. Our Spanish is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we have a pretty good idea of where to go to exchange these for annual passes. Um, seems to be the primary goal. We should probably just start there, but yeah. if we see some stuff along the way, obviously we're going to, well, we're not going to show Dash because we're going to enjoy it for now. Uh, so we just got in. We think we see some people petting a zebra. Is that even possible? We have to check this out. I have never seen a zebra this up close in my entire life. Look who they... Okay. Okay, we tried. We tried. Oh, we're going for it. Nothing. What? Nothing? Ah, I got nothing in my hand. I wish I had something like an apple. I'm not sure what you guys eat. <laughs> Probably not an apple. Yeah? Oh, that was close. So close. Hi, buddy. Hi. 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 No? We tried. Check out our friend in the background. So cool. Hi, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Here is the map of the zoo. Coming all the way down here. It's pretty decently sized. And there are all of the species that are here. Nice. This is fast to sleep. It's a pretty good time for us to check out and see what kind of food they have at the zoo here. I'm betting it's probably not the same as it is in the States. Okay, so it is cafeteria style. You basically grab a tray, grab your utensils, and you just pick out what you want, check out, and then grab a table. He is not gonna miss a meal, not my boy. Right, Dash? He's like, feed me! Feed me! Yummy! <laughs> Ooh, little RV over here. Not sure what that is. It's got the whole. Ooh, Dash, what do you see? What's he looking at? What? All right, what's the top of this little hill here? Whoa! I see some elefantes. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah? Do they look like the ones in your mobile back home? I think uh, if it was like the ones in his mobile, he would just see their butts. <laughs> <laughs> because his, his baby mobile, um, you can see the elephants from the bottom. So he was so used to staring at elephante booty that um, this is a rare treat. There's a rhino. He looks like a sleepy rhino. Um, today, after my run, that is my spirit animal. That's how I feel inside right now. <laughs> I'm a little envious that he gets to sleep. <laughs> it's a race, racing the peacock. Oh, <laughs> what is up? Just going out for a stroll. There are so many of you here. Wow. Okay, looks like we're at a penguin uh, encounter here, enclosure. Let's, looks like there's a little path going down below. Dash, what do you think? Should we go down there? Should we go down here? We should totally go down here. Here we go. We're down below, but I think the penguins are back up top, right? Despite having all of these amazing treats waiting for them at the bottom. I think we're near. Okay, I think these guys, it's probably what you're hearing. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, there they go. We're just having a good old time down there. All right. Got a better angle here, these little guys. Are over there? Yeah. That's a little dog. Oh, it's like a pig. Oh, he is passed out. They are passed out. Oh, there's some more hog faces there. I'm gonna go ahead and give this enclosure a rating of five out of five flamingos. I think that's more like 40 out of 40 flamingos. That is more like 40 out of 40 flamingos. That's like all the flamingos. I think the interesting thing about the flamingo enclosure is that it's not really enclosed. Like literally there's just a line of bushes and in some instances you can basically walk right up to the water. Not that you should or you'd be allowed to, but um, yeah, they're just like within an arm's distance, all of them. Peacock? Yes, the peacock. I think that ah. might be the peacock. I mean, it's hard to blame them. They're the vibrant, vibrant color patterns. He's pointing <laughs> at them every time we see one. <laughs> so we found the kids area here. They've got, is that a zip line? Yeah, it's really cool. That's a zip line for kids. What the, holy, look at this. <laughs> what the heck? That is amazing. Zip line. 
That's pretty cool. I spy somebody peeking out over the rocks there. <gasps> well, now it's gone. What was it? <gasps> you see something? Oh, what? Yeah. There he is. There he is again, dude. Oh, oh he's eating something. I saw an eight over there. That was like you trying to eat. Keep all the birds over there, huh? More flamingos. And again, they're just, um, they're not over by the you know, fence line right here, but essentially they just walk over and they just kind of hang out there. And uh, yeah, yeah, not that you want to pet a flamingo, but you're close enough. All right, so we're looking to upgrade to the annual pass. We um, basically made it to another main gate here. We're taking a ticket. We've got a zoo club 22, and then we're gonna go online in the offices here and exchange, I think, our tickets for annual passes. So we'll see. All right, let's pop in the zoo club. Oh, is that, oh, okay. Do you wait before you go in? I think so. Okay. There's a screen up there. Looks like we're next. All right, we are officially Zoo Pass members, which is exciting. We also found out that apparently there are a whole lot of other discounts that you get with this at other places around Barcelona, which is pretty freaking cool. So we're gonna be looking at that on their website and obviously using that while we're here over the next couple months. But we're official. In hindsight, we probably should have gotten our annual pass before we ate because it also includes food discounts as well. But lesson learned, we'll know better next time. This next animal we're gonna take a look at, well, this is no laughing matter. Or is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guessed it right. That was a hyena back there. Pretty cool. A lot bigger in person. They look real small on like you know, National Geographic uh, shows and stuff, but in actuality, they're pretty substantially sized. Speaking of substantially sized animals. Yeah. Listen. Hello, bison. This ain't Pete's parrot, I'm telling you. <laughs> what are those red birds? I've never seen those. Brightly colored. Yeah, those are crazy. Yeah, these guys in Florida, but they're pink. I can't. He's definitely red. This looks very similar to where we have back in St. Pete, uh, <laughs> called a spindle something something something. Don't know the technical name for it, but um, the versions back in Florida have a kind of pink coloration to them, whereas these are white, white and brown. Yeah. What are they doing? Are they sleeping? Is it sleeping? It looks like it, huh? Ooh. We found one. Uh, what is that? Yeah? Do you know what species it is? No. Ooh. You see him, dude? You see that? You see the gazelles? There's a baby gazelle. There's a little baby! Found a wallaby. He's so cute. Yeah. 
Well, now that we have our annual passes and can come back anytime we want, we've decided that we're tired. <laughs> Actually, Dash really needs a nap. Um, yeah, Dash that needs a nap. Uh-huh, yes, definitely, <laughs> yes. That's not us. No, it's not us. We're like full of energy and ready Absolutely. to keep going. Yeah, we could go all day. <laughs> I mean, if you've been following along with her vlogs, you know that Dash has not been sleeping all that great. So, I think it's time for us to do that age old like advice where you sleep when the baby sleeps. We're having that lesson beat into us literally day <laughs> by day. We're nine but, months in and still not doing it. Nope. <laughs> so about that. But we're so glad that you came along with us to the zoo. Daniel, what are your thoughts about how this zoo differs from like the ones we've been to in the States? You can definitely get a lot closer to the animals than you can in you know some of the US zoos. I mean, like, real close. Yeah. Um, I mean, the zebras were epic. Yeah. And there are other animal enclosures where I could, eat, well, things could go sideways. And I, <laughs> I think it's a little interesting, to say the least, because um, you get real close. But the zoo was huge. And we only got to see, like, what do you think, maybe a third of it today, dude? Yeah, there's a lot. I know there's tigers and all kinds of, you know, there's other animals there as well. And we least. have to find the cheetah because that's Daniel's favorite animal. <sighs> so true. So true. So, we'll be back soon. But until next time, friend, make sure you wander local this week. Because as you know, it's good for the soul. Bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Whee!